Right, I want you to treat me for that. Uh, um, has a pupil at the trained stage, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I've had some less, uh, I've had lessons with an instructor, but I've never ever met you before. But I am familiar with the controls of the car, so I do know the controls of the Fiesta. I've got a test in about five weeks' time, and my instructor today, who couldn't make it, said that well, we're going to look at progress, um, use of speed, I think he said, um, has and see a normal normal driving position. Okay. Yeah, so my name's Tony, so unless you've got any questions, I'll hand over to you. Okay, hello Tony, my name's Debbie. Hello Debbie, nice how are you, all right? I'm fine, thank you, how are you today? Yeah, not too bad. That's yeah. good, good. So, yeah, you wanted to have a look at progress, uh, position and hesitancy today? Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. you said, yeah. Okay, so what does um, progress, normal progress mean to you? Oh, getting on with it and being business-like. Yeah. And, yeah, where it's safe to do so, he, he said, wasn't it? That's right, using, uh, selecting the appropriate speed for yeah. the traffic and yeah. conditions, yeah. And what about um, uh, hesitancy? What would that mean to you? Um, oh, it's either um, lack of preparation or, or lack of judgment, isn't it? Exactly. That's where you're holding people up, isn't it? Exactly, that's exactly what it is. Um, yeah, so, what was the other one? Uh, normal position. So what normal position would you take in the road when you're driving? Um, I would see there about a metre from the curb or the middle of my lane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right then, do you want to um, set yourself up for oh, the right, car yeah. and we'll go for yeah. the drive in a minute? What can you see in that middle mirror? Uh, not a lot, but I can see the hole in the back window and I see a bit of my head restraint. Mm -hmm. And what about the door mirrors? Um, I can see two finger widths and I can see... I can just I see the sky come in at the top and the, the, the wall behind me, just the low wall behind me coming in at the middle, the same in that one. Okay, that's good. Do you want to start the engine then and we'll right. go for a drive? We're going to turn right out of the parking bay and right out of the car park. Okay, so we're going to turn right out of the parking bay. And right and out the car park. Right out the car park. Bring your speed up to about 18. Well, let's wait till this car's gone, obviously. What sort of speed do you think is appropriate for this road? Oh, I just like to uh, try and examine it really safe because I've got a failure test. Sure, but it's probably more appropriate to do a speed of about 18 on a road like this um, because if you go too slowly, cars behind you are going to get frustrated and cross and they might try and overtake you. And if they do that, they might end up going into the path of oncoming traffic. Oh, right. But it's important that we perhaps keep our speed at about 18, 20 miles an hour on a road like this where you had parked cars, it's quite narrow here with the safe havens as well. You can have, um, uh, it's a residential area as well, okay? So if you get your speed about 18, 20 on this road, it's important as well that you can stop in the distance you can see. Why is it important, you think? What, what's the um, um, speed limit on this road? Oh, 30. But, yeah, and why is it important to keep your speed at about 18, 20 on this road? I can see the reason back there. Uh, it's always going to be 18 or 20. Now, on this road, while you've got the parked cars here, and you've got people, anyone who walk out in front of those parked cars. Road. What's the speed would you do here? I think I'd probably do 25 here, couldn't I? You could, yeah, that's good. How are you judging that? I can see more, couldn't I? Yeah. Um, I've got any parked cars, but I've got these roads on the left and the roads on the right, haven't I? Yeah, that's good. Why is it important that you don't go too, too slow on this road? Oh, I frustrate people behind me that might try and overtake me. Yeah, and what could happen if they do that? get frustrated it might off take me dangerously and drive into that bus that just went past. Exactly, exactly. 
I think you've got that then. If I hand that over to you, but I'll keep an eye on that. Okay. And we're going to turn right. And we're going to turn right.
never going to get past that if when we might come across the next roundabout, if we look ahead nice and early, we can look to the right of the roundabout and see if there's a road there and see what's coming off that road. We also look ahead and we look left at those roads as well. So I look where? We look right yeah. and ahead and left yeah. and then ahead and right oh. and we'll keep doing that and we'll see all the traffic coming round. So if there's a car coming from the road ahead or a car coming from the left, they may come round to block the traffic coming oh, from right, the right. Block. They're called blockers. Oh, right. Okay, so if they... So they help me? So they're going to help you put onto the roundabout. Because oh, if right. they block the traffic coming from the right, so you can see there's a roundabout up ahead. Yeah, we're going to turn right in that And we're going to turn right at this roundabout. We're going to look out for those blockers that are coming from the other roads as well. So we're going to be all the way around the roundabout. Okay, so as we approach this roundabout, we're going to look nice and early. Around to block so you can go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's, that's handy, isn't it? That's excellent. Blocker, yeah. So, as, as you approach the roundabout, where are you looking? Right ahead, left ahead, right, yeah. everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, what are you looking for when you come that roundabout? Well, I might get like that red car or that maroon car and help me to go on there, isn't it? Yeah. What's he called? They're called... A blocker, isn't it? Blockers, that's right. Okay. So when we get to the next roundabout, you show me how you're doing that. You talk me through it as well, what you're seeing. I'm nervous about my test. Oh, you've got it five yeah. weeks' time? Yeah. Not long. Not long at all. I'm sure you'll be fine for it. You'll no, feel no. like you're ready for it. Bikes, flurries. But 
what's going to help you make that turn? Oh, it's nobody coming back and going, isn't it? Why are you going to be looking ahead and left as well? Oh, for them blockers. Oh, that's right, exactly. And there's a blocker there. That's right, yeah. And the taxi's a blocker, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, yeah, that helps, isn't it? That's great. Now we're going to take the next road on the right. Now. And we're going to take the next road on the right. So why is it important that you don't hesitate as you come up to a roundabout? People behind me will get uh, might get frustrated and they might try overtaking me. That's right. And the other people coming on to the roundabout will get uh, confused, won't they? Yeah, that's right. And how are you judging getting onto that roundabout now? Uh, looking right ahead, left ahead, right. That's good. I think you've got that then. That's not allowed, is it? No, it's not allowed, no. Why is it not allowed? It's dangerous, isn't it? Those roundabouts. All right. So um, I'll keep an eye on that for you. But now we're going to take the next road on the left. And we'll take the next no, road. Actually, road. can we go down to the end of the road? Can we go to the end of the road? Did you say left or right? Uh, at the end of the road, we're going to turn left. At the end of the road, we're going to turn left. Going. It's safe to pull out. Oh, yeah, it's important. Why did it's important that you prepare the car ready to pull out before you actually get to the junction so that you're ready to pull out without hesitating because otherwise, drivers behind you they're not going to know what you're doing, they're going to think you've pulled over, and, you know, they may try and overtake you because you're going to frustrate them. Um, okay, and if they try and overtake you, they're going to. Um, they might drive into the path of cars trying to come into so the road. There's something wrong there, isn't it? Yeah, we just need to prepare the car earlier. Prepare? Prepare the car, so we'll get it into gear before we come to a stop. Okay, so that we're ready to pull away. So we'll do that on the next junction, on the next um, emerge. If I talk you into when to get into first gear. All right. too long at a junction a pedestrian might think you've stopped and try and step out in front of you oh, right. and you end up running them over. And at the end of the road we're going to be turning right please. And at the end of the road we're going to be turning right. So as you come up to this junction I'll tell you when to get into first. Oh. way line. We'll get it into first gear. All right. Okay, so if you show me on the next one, see if you can get it into first gear about that time, so that the car's prepared then. So we at can one get and a half car lengths. At one and a half car lengths, yeah, that's the sound I'm looking for. <laughs> I told you about drinking, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And turning left. And we're going to turn left. So you show me when you're going to put it right, into first yeah, gear. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's okay. clear to go, isn't it? Exactly. Why is that important that we don't, that we prepare the car early? Well, because I wasn't prepared, was I being hesitant? You were, exactly. Mm. What can happen if you do that? Um, that's 
people behind get frustrated, don't they? Yeah, and what will they try and do? Try and overtake me, wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly. There could be somebody turning into the junction, couldn't they? That's right. So I'll hand that one over to you then, but I'll keep an eye on that for you because yeah. I think you've got that. Yeah, That uh, picking that reference point up there. Right, yeah, that's because you d I didn't tell you to stay in the seating position. Yeah, sorry about that. The seating position. Yeah, when I, when I leaned across, I kind of wandered, yeah. uh, wandered a bit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. It's important if you stay in your seating dri seat driving position in the seat um, when you take that reference point, because otherwise you're going to be like that. And when you try and drive, it won't be in the right place. So you need to stay in this, this driving seated position. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think you're very rested. <laughs> You alright? Yeah. I can't believe I forgot that. I've never forgotten that before. No, it's um, <laughs> it's nerves creeping in, not really. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a bad sign. No, that's quite well handled. You were, uh, yeah, you were quite on top of everything. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I was happy with her. Yeah, I was going too slow to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, you handled that quite well. You got me down to the right speed. Didn't leave it too long, and then you kind of gave me a bit of guidance. Then you asked me how I'd judge it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I didn't play. Uh, I didn't actually play around with the right position when you asked me there. I just, I, I just moved off because yeah. we had a bigger coming towards us. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then when I did, yeah, you had again. You handled it quite well. Maybe you can move the reference point a bit earlier. I might, uh, might be better, man. Okay. Yeah? Mm. But remember with that reference point, it is possible to use it on the move, but it shut me down. The what? Make it safe. With the yeah. reference point on the move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, any reference points on the move. Um, a couple of years ago, we wouldn't have gone anywhere near giving them on the move, but it is safe to do it. Yeah. And the SE knows that it's safe to, uh, to do it. Mm -hmm. But you've got to come in with what? Stay in your driving position. Keep both hands on the wheel. Yeah. You don't point, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's what you don't want me to do. You just ask me where the uh, where the curb cuts into the car, yeah. 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 Um, and then it's then it's perfectly safe. Yeah. Yeah. So I probably remember that quite a little bit earlier, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right, yeah. I think it's probably a good one. Yeah, yeah and then the, uh, the, uh, the roundabouts were handled, were handled great. Yeah, I did stop for the first one, but I had to stop. But then I did have a car coming around blocking and I could have gone at that point, I wasn't going to go and you, you no, pushed no. me to go. Yeah. Um, and then you came in with the help almost immediately, you know, uh, telling me where to look, mm. why it was important to look at, at better blockers. Mm -hmm. I thought I, you know, really came together quite well. Mm. Um, so I wasn't, I wasn't hanging out to dry there too long. And then I had a little, a little stab at lack of preparation. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, that straight away, so mm -hmm. that was no problem. No, I was really happy with that. Okay. Relax a bit. I'm so worried. <laughs> you can do this. Mm. Yeah, so in between, yeah, it just so happens we had a bit of a drive there uh, <laughs> up to the next round event. Yeah. Yeah, don't be frightened of talking to me. It, uh, yeah. it, 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 it relax you as well as well as relaxing your people in real life, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you do, you, like you're nervous about your test or the weather's not very good today, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah just and sitting there saying nothing. Mm. It's not going to go against you if you don't, but uh, mm -hmm. just breaks the ice a bit for you as well. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not very nice. I know from sitting where you're sitting, it's not very nice having these these long silences. Mm. Um, mm. But it was just the way it worked out there. Mm. There was a two mile gap between that uh, the last round about and the next one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't worry about it. It's, um, you, you know you've covered everything else on subject at that point, apart from the uh, the roundabouts and the lack of preparation, so you know I'm not going to play around there, so you, you can have a chat with me. Yeah. I'll yeah. be able to drive and, mm -hmm. and chat to you at the same time, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll give that a pause.